Now I will demonstrate how to create a data synchronization task joining multiple Salesforce source objects. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and change my connection type to a Salesforce connection because uh, with multiple source object, everything beyond the source step functions so, uh, exactly the same. So I'm going to leave my source type set as multiple and I'm going to add my multiple objects. Now remember you always want to pick your top level object first with Salesforce connections. So I'm going to search for and add price book entry. And once that object is added you can click on that object and click Add and select a related object. I'm going to select the Pricebook object, which is called Pricebook 2, and I'll click OK. Now I'm going to select my top level object again and add another related object, Product. All right, so I'll go to my target step and I'm going to uh, write this data to a SQL Server database called Products. And I'll skip over data filters. And what I want to show you here that's different under the field mapping step is that on the source side, uh, by default, you've, you're seeing all source objects, but you can drill down by object to make your mapping a little bit easier. So I think those are mapped by default. And I have a few under product to map. All right, everything's mapped. I'll validate my mapping and I'll go ahead and save and run my task. All right, my task completed successfully with five rows and if I have a look at my SQL Server products table, which I can see here under my uh, training site, I can see that those five rows were added.